Um, I'm going to talk about an extract in my book about Edna. Um, even now I find it really hard to read from the book. Um, so I'm just going to talk about what I remember about Edna. She didn't have any family and she didn't ask for much in life, a bath and a cigarette, which, you know, was not a lot to ask. Um, she was so overdosed on clopromazine that wasn't even prescribed by the GP that she was unconscious in the end and her head was lifted out of her face of uneaten food, out of a plate of uneaten food and liquid poison was just poured down her throat. I mean, there's a massive amount of evidence to support what happened to Edna. And yet, 15 years later, I'm still fighting for justice for her and for all people in her position. And it seems um, to go to the heart of what the problem is that I should have to fight at all because what happened to Edna was supported with evidence strong evidence and yet the people that did it to her have never been held to account and the people that said it was all right at the top of the company have never been held to account and that's why nothing changes because even when you can prove it's true it's not enough